All right, let's continue with our Lightning Web Component. On this video, we are going to deploy Lightning Web Component files using VS Code. So let's go straight to the point. We are going to deploy this bike cart um, component into our Trailhead Playground. So first things first, I want to launch my Trailhead Playground. I would recommend you to create a brand new playground. So I'm going to go to my hands on orgs over here on a new tab. And I just created this uh, new playground. I'm going to launch this playground so that I am logged in because I want to authenticate from our VS code um, to this playground to deploy the three files or the component. So make sure you're logged in to your playground. And then next, I'm going to launch our VS code and I'm going to create uh, a new project and then basically deploy this component called bike cart onto our playground. And we're gonna talk about the configuration file for a um, LWC component. All right. So to do that, let's create a project. But first, we want to launch our VS Code. I am on a Mac, so I'm going to go VS Code over here. All right. So to create a new project, you can use a shortcut, Shift Command P, or go to View. You go Command Palette there. So create a project, sfdx, create a project there. You can type create project. I'm going to use the standard project template. And I'm going to type the name by cart. I think it's like that, right? If I go here the name of the project is bike cart there's a component folder i'm going to name the bike cart like so so we are going to do the same as instructed because we are going to pass the challenge by following the instructions over there Okay, we have to do that again. View command palette there, and then create project, a standard project, by cart like so, enter. And I'm going to create this um, on the SFDX folder, create project over here. Boom. So we have our bike cart um, project created. Let's see the instructions. So we're not uh, going left and right, but straight forward. So now we want to create a bike cart component folder by right clicking on the LWC folder and then choose SFDX create lightning web component and the name of the file name is bike cart like so so let's go ahead and do just that so we are on the bike cart project folder if you go force app over here and lwc i'm going to right click there create lightning web component here okay click there and same thing by cart and hit enter same thing default boom now we have by cart uh, component folder here and we have the html the js and the configuration file so we are just going to copy the content from our trailhead for the html I'm going to 
paste it over here. Boom. Can you guys see this? Um, there. Maybe that's better, right? So that's the HTML. I'm going to also get the JS, copy that, put it on the VS Code. Boom. And also, lastly, the config file, the XML config file. I'm going to copy that, paste it on here. Boom. Okay. So I'm going to save everything here. Or you can do save all. So all the files are saved. Next up, we are going to deploy it. But before we deploy, let's talk about the config file. So we've done all that. We've created the project. We've saved it. So before we actually deploy it, let's talk about the config or the configuration file. So this is an example. Um, the API version for sure is required. This is to define the Salesforce API version for this particular component. Is exposed? Is this component exposed? Yes or no? Um, is exposed? Is either true or false? Makes the component available from other namespaces. Only set this to true to make a Lightning component usable in these specific cases. So you want to make it true when you want. Um, to access this from a managed package in Aura or from a Lightning App Builder in another org. In another org, okay? And then optional, you also can define the targets of this component. Which type of Lightning pages the component can be added to in the Lightning App Builder. In this particular example, it's available to be added. This particular component is um, available to be added on the Lightning app page, the record page, the home page, and also the community page. And further on, the target configs, you can define which objects is accessible for the Lightning record page. And there is a, a, um, a vast um, configuration which you can see on the documentation of what you can do the xml configuration file here okay the targets and all the specific details the target configs and please read this through on your own time we can't explain all of it at one video all right now display this is also important displaying a component in an org the most straightforward one which we'll do is using the Lightning App Builder. You've done this before a lot of times, right? Set the component to support various flexible, uh, flexi page types, the home, the record home, and so on. And then add it to a flexi page using the Lightning App Builder, which we are going to do on this example. This is the simplest approach and the one you will follow in this unit on the next video, not this exact sample. Now we're just going to deploy it, okay? So that's basically uh, the pointers you need to know now to deploy. You basically do authorize an org and then we can deploy by using the deploy this source to org. Now let's authorize first. To do that, go to view, command palette, SFDX authorize an org. There, boom. Um, project default, let's use this that we are logged in to the Trailhead Playground. I'm going to click that. Um, actually, we have an. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. I'm going to name this LWC. Trailhead Playground, LWC TP, okay? So it's gonna pop up 
I'm going to have to log in with the LWP or LWC login, which we don't know. Now I have to reset this first then. To do that, I'm going to go to setup. This is on my Trailhead Playground. We don't know the password, right? Because we just created that. So I'm going to reset the password first. Users. We have the user here. I'm going to close this guy. I'm going to crank this up so you can see. So this is my user, which we are going to log in. But the problem is we don't know what the password is for this. To do that, I am going to have to reset the password. Okay, I'm going to click there and reset password. But before we do that, I'm going to make sure my um, email is student at so.io so I can access that. So basically, I'm going to check the box here and reset the password. Yes, I will receive an email to reset my password here. And here is the password reset link. I am going to click on that. And I'm going to change my password. So with that, I'm going to close my email there. I can log in over here using the password. All right. That makes sense. Allow VS Code to do its stuff. Now, if we go back to VS Code, it's done. Sure, I'm going to install that and it threw me off to another stuff. I'm going to go back to our project. Okay, as you can see, this authorization is done, successfully authorized our username and that's it. Now, let's see what's next after we have authorized um, our Trailhead Playground to our VS Code. Next, we are going to deploy. So to do that, we use the command sfdx deploy this source to org from the command palette. All right. So go back to your VS Code and I'm going to go view command palette sfdx deploy this source to org there. As you can see, it's deploying and it's done. There. So created, let me show you that by card, the HTML, the JS and the config file. It's already deployed to our Trailhead Playground. So that's it. So it's deployed, now it's ready for use. Um, we can actually try and use it. Now, let's create a new page for our component using the Lightning App Builder on our playground and create a new app and name it uh, Bike Cart here. I'm gonna copy this. Okay. And I'm going to my playground, I'm going to set up um, here is already open lightning app builder and make a new app uh, we are going to make an app page next by card oops uh, one region there so basically, we want to grab our new component, Byte Card. Woohoo! There we go, Byte Card Custom Component. Awesomeness. Uh, I'm going to close this guy and you can just drag it here. Boom. There we go. Now I'm going to save and activate this. Activation. Don't show this again. 
um, activate for all users and save all right and save so if i go back here okay now you can drag it into onto the page uh, which we've done we've activate and we've saved right yeah let's try it out so i'm gonna go here and let's refresh this and let's open our bike card there app what is a big bike and because the view was actual size there it is okay so it's working as expected right with the badges here and stuff like that so that's basically it we've deployed our um, custom component first custom component ever into our trailhead playground you did it so let's complete the challenge i think we've done that right we have the project name by card the folder is lwc and then we've done this and the name is by card yeah let's launch not launch let's check the challenge and we should get our 500 point just fine unless we miss or mistype something okay let's see if we mistype something or not bada bing bada boom woohoo 500 points i'll see you on the next video hit that subscribe button and explore new trailhead grounds and learn to implement the most useful and popular apps on the salesforce app exchange and do yourself a favor like this video and you'll be surprised on how much more you understand when watching this same video after liking it don't take my word watch this one more time after you like the video and see it for yourself bada bing bada boom